Hey guys, Heidi Easley here, Texas Art and Soul, and I am going to be painting ceramic Eiffel Towers today. So let me know where you're from. I wanna see where you're from and where you are watching from. So, um, and also I need some ideas for what color. So I'm thinking of a couple of things, okay? So, and also if you would like to purchase, I'm selling these in twos and then you can also i'm going to be sending fun little bunnies with them so i'm going to send some bonus bunnies as you get them so um go ahead we have a limited amount so if you want one just make sure actually you'll get it in two and the shipping's included so if you want one go ahead and put yes i want a set and they're 65 dollars, and that includes free shipping so here's what i need hey kimberly hey brenda hey guys hey cindy and um, here's what I need from y'all. So I was wanting to do like a pink overlay in this, or I was going to keep it. And again, these have tea lights in it. I was going to keep this as gold. And then I was thinking of doing an ombre turquoise or an ombre pinks all the way up. Okay. So let me know what you think I should do. Ombre turquoise or ombre pinks. Or should it be a mix? Isn't this going to be so cute if like a mother-daughter does this together? I thought, how cute is it? You could have like a little bunny visiting the Eiffel Tower. Isn't that so cute? Sarah says, add some turquoise. I like where your head's at, Sarah. Okay, so turquoise. Maybe I'll do the turquoise over the gold and then these in pink. Maybe that. Okay, so let me know. I'm going to start adding a little bit of turquoise to this gold. And this is a metallic aquamarine oh ombre turquoise ombre turquoise ombre pinks oh my gosh we have so many so many people okay so let us know as you come on let us know where you're from and let us know if you want to see this one painted in ombre turquoise or ombre pinks okay so what i'm going to do and again if you would like to order your set of two we have a limited amount you can go ahead and just put um link or yes i want to order and then if you're watching the replay, because usually what happens is we have, usually by the end of the, the night, we'll have thousands who have watched it. If we don't have any more, we won't be able to provide the link anymore. So as we have them in stock, I'm going to be able to provide the link. So if you don't get the link later, make sure you um, know, just make sure to watch for the next time, because especially last fall, we would post something and within two hours, we would be totally sold out. So um, if you want it, make sure you post yes, please. And then we'll go ahead and post the link now. Isn't that cute? Okay, so I'm just adding a little bit of the turquoise here. And I thought this would be really fun to do is like a, a mother daughter get together or something like you could, you know, make some really cute. Um, I don't know, I'm not a good anybody on here a baker? Like I'm not really a good baker, but I thought wouldn't it be cute to have like black and white cookies and um, you know, just like theme it up to where it looks really, really cute. And you could have one of, um, one of our paint party headquarter ladies does like a tea party. And I thought that was really cute. You could have some tea or some, in my case, my favorite coffee. And look, you could even like alternate. So you have turquoise and then you could leave one side gold. Oh, Minetta's a baker. So you could do like black and white cookies. You can have the whole theme going on. Okay, so I'm just kind of sprinkling this on because I don't want it too, too much. And then based on, let's see, we have, okay, so Carol says, yes, please. <laughs> yes, make sure if you want to get yours, go ahead and put yes. I would love to, to purchase two of these. They come in sets of two. So as soon as we sell out, we sell out. So make sure you put Yes, I want to purchase. And then me and my team will come back and give you the link to where you can purchase. And it's $65 and that includes shipping. So you, as long as you're in the um, the United States, as long as you're in the United States, the shipping will be included. Um, oh, yes, Sarah, mother, son, too. My boys are crappy. Oh, my gosh. So one of my little cousins, um, they were over around Christmas time and he was four at the time and um one of my other you know the parents of them were like heidi could you help him you know he loves to craft all he does is craft and so i said yeah i would love to and so i made my art studio up with all of these extra ceramics and paintings that i had and i just said oh thank you victoria <laughs> yeah i've been wearing these for like blue lights i've been getting bad headaches when i'm like looking at the computer all the time 
And so I'm trying to help it a little bit. And I'm losing my vision. Oh my goodness. I had LASIK about 20 years ago. And for some reason, it's just not holding anymore. <laughs> um, but anyway, so what we did was we surprised him and, um, and his other, you know, his sister. And we surprised him, but we knew he would really, really love it because he's really, really crafty and creative. And so we, you know, cleared my entire art studio and we had Pixie kind of go in and, and grab a bunch of my ceramics. Look at that up close. Isn't that cool? We haven't even wiped anything off yet. How cool is that? Remember, if you want, these are tea lights. So you actually put in a tea light and you could get the tea lights at the dollar store for two for a dollar that you don't have to actually um, light up. And then you could put this on your living room or whatever. So we're going to do an ombre one too. So, and then I'll show you how to put triple thick on there, which makes it look like it's been glazed. So remember, if you're going to order, we are going to send out a bonus bunny. Aren't these the cutest little things in the whole world? I love them. Like your little bunny can be visiting the Eiffel Tower. Okay, now we're going to ombre this. So what I wanted to share was um, we had put out all of these. Let me go and see if that'll go into the, let me go this way. There we go. Uh, we had, I got paint all over my stand. Everywhere, everywhere. And yes, Rosanna, I have noticed the difference because I deal with a lot of migraines too. And um, I promise you, I'll tell you about the art studio. I know I'm taking some squirrel moments. But yes, I have noticed a huge difference with um, the glasses. They help because a lot of times, you know, I'll be at the computer for a long time. And so they will really help with that. And they're, they're just called blue light glasses. But, you know, like right now I'm staring, like y'all can see the ring light. So as I'm looking at you talking to you, I'm also staring at a ring light or a computer. So sometimes they just help. Okay, so I'm going to do the ombre pink and we're going to see what happens, okay? I'm going to actually keep my messy brush blue because it's going to turn it, as you see, whenever I add in some pink, it's going to give it kind of a purplish color. So we're going to ombre this with a darker color down here and then we're going to bring it up. And, um, oh, you can order them online, Amy. You can, I think I got these on Amazon. And um, so, yeah, so what um, What we ended up doing is we surprised him and we put tons and tons of ceramics out and all this fun stuff for him to, to paint and create him and his sister while they were here. And, um, and so I tried to help him. And then, you know, as a teacher, like when they're four, if you've been a, an art teacher, how long does a four-year-old usually paint? or create? Does anybody have an answer? Let me know if you've been an art teacher. You probably have the answer. I'm going to, I'm going to think it in my head for a few minutes while y'all do y'all's, y'all's idea. I'm going to be using the pink and that blue to mix to get a darker color first, and then I'll bring it over. Um, oh, you're welcome, Rosanna. Yeah. Those y'all that are wanting to order these glasses, I think we just got them off of Amazon, like two pairs for 20 or 30 bucks. I don't think they were that much. Okay. So Tiffany says three minutes. Cheryl says two seconds. Linda says eight minutes. Um, I've heard about four, um, five minutes. Oh my gosh. Y'all are hilarious. Okay. So, <laughs> so yes. Okay. So little kids with their crafts usually are very, very fast in the fact that they will paint for about five minutes. And so, we have this, you know, my little cousin here, this kid that loves, like loves to craft. And when they told me that he loved to craft, I was like, yeah, you know, maybe 20 minutes. Oh my gosh. All he did was create projects the entire night he was here. He painted, he created. And I, I remember I went in there one time and I was like trying to help him. And then I was like, I can't, I, I don't even want to break up what this kid is doing. He was so involved with what he was creating that I was like, anything I teach him, like he is doing his own masterpiece. And so if you decide to order these, even if you have a little one, first off, this is like the cutest thing you could keep, like as they grow up, like, you know, paint one together and then keep it forever. Like, it's just so, so cute what they decide because like, We'll paint ours pretty basic, right? Maybe a gold underlay with turquoise, which is really beautiful. But for the, you know, for the most part, it's kind of a, a basic color, right? 
where kids, they will go insane and they will make it all different fun colors. And they're going to make it something that you are going to want to keep forever. And so, um, so I was watching him and I was like, okay, well, what about this? I was teaching him because his um, daddy likes to surf. He's a, actually, he's a really good surfer. He's from Australia. And so he, um, so he was like, yeah. And I said, well, I have these surfboards. You can paint a surfboard too. Um, Christina, they're two, you get two of them and they are, um, I think they're 12 inches. So you get two of these, the shipping's included for $65 and we ship them to you. Okay. So as long as you're in the USA, the shipping is included. So, um, it doesn't cost any extra for shipping, but guys, once we sell out, we're sold out. So if you're watching this on a replay, which, um, I believe, you know, all of you right now, obviously not, I believe I know cause I'm live. <laughs> I know right now I'm live. I know. Is it real live? What time is it? Where are we? Where are we at? What day is it? Um, so yes, so if you're watching the replay, we may not have the link still. So if you want to purchase these, you'll get two. And then I'll also send you, um, while supplies last, a little cute bunny to go with it. So you'll get two of these and two little bunnies, but make sure you order them um, quickly. Because usually we sell out within, um, within the night. Usually we don't have any more. So if you're watching this, order before... Um, everybody sees it. Okay. So, um, anyway, he was painting and creating and I was trying to tell him what to do on the surfboard and he had his own idea. And it was at that time I was like, you know, being an art teacher, I don't pressure kids to like make things fit a certain mold when it comes to their art. I'm really big about, um, letting them be creative and explore because what's the part, like, what's the point, right? When you do art, you want to be creative, you want to explore, and that's how you start to figure out new things. And that's how you start to go, wait a minute, this Eiffel Tower just doesn't have to be painted just gold. Like I can have a blast with it and paint it all these bright colors and make an ombre or whatever I decide, right? And so I looked at my little cousin and I was like, you are doing great. You just keep it up. And man, that boy just painted and created. So I know Sarah earlier said, yes, boys paint too. Yes. Oh my gosh. And it, it makes my heart so happy. So I just did a, a paint party this weekend. How many of y'all on here are teaching your paint parties again? I know a lot of you are teaching your paint parties or you're just learning how to start a paint party business. If you need somebody to help mentor you, I know a girl. Oh, that's me. I teach people how to make money with their paint parties. So if you need help, make sure you check me out and find out some of my free gifts. Um, but anyway, I was um, teaching this, this group this weekend and there were a couple of really cute boys. And I always say like, um, you know, if they're, we were doing mermaid tails and llamas. And I always say like, um, make sure you name it, like name your mermaid tail, name your llama. And one of the cute boys, and I have a picture of him on my Facebook page, and um, he said um, his, his llama's name was Jack. And it was so cute because every time I would turn to go look at Jack, his llama, he would have like different color socks on him or he'd have something else he created. And he just had a blast. Um, yeah, I know some of y'all, yeah, Antoinette says still virtual. Some of y'all are still virtual. And um, guys, and that's okay. So if you're still virtual, I'm just adding a little bit of white to give it some contrast as I go down to the ombre. And um, if you're still virtual, you want to find ways to do things like whether it's, you know, art kits or you're selling, um, you know, different things like this. You want to still figure out a way to keep your paint party business going. Okay. Whether you have to do it um, virtual for a little bit or you're selling kits or whatever that may look like you've got to pivot. You've got to go, okay, this is what's ready in my area. And this is what I can do now. And just know that it won't always, you know, I mean, I was talking to somebody the other day and I said, I think I was filming a video and I was like, the only two things we can depend on being constant is God is going to be constant and change will be constant always. Okay. So we have to remember, like, we can't just all of a sudden throw our hands in the air and go, ah, I got to pivot. Like the whole world has had to pivot. So don't, um, don't play the, the blame game of, you know, it's just me because I promise you this, um, this whole world has, has felt, you know, yes, 
some more than others for sure. You know, I'm not doubting that. But what I want you to know is um, pivot. Think of ways you can, you know, have your parties or your cell kits or, or something like that that you can still still have a way. And then if you are in an area where you don't feel comfortable selling kits and you just want to take a break, I encourage you to paint, okay? Keep painting because that is what has, you know, helped me through so many, many crazy times in my life is knowing that at any time I could pick up a paintbrush. Anybody else feel like that sometimes? Like we get in these moments where we're like, oh, I can't cope. And then um, yeah, Antoinette says laundry is constant. That's a, that's a good one I need to add. <laughs> laundry is constant. Um, but you know, we do, we get in these, these times in our life where we just feel like, oh, is it ever going to be different? You know, like it's, you know, it just, it can almost feel like um, a groundhog day, right? It can almost start to feel like a groundhog day. So what I encourage you, and again, you know, I'm speaking this to myself as well. We all have um, those times, but I want you to know that it, it does change. It does get better, but we have to remember, like, we have to wake up and we have to go, okay, what can we look forward to today? Is it painting a cute little Eiffel tower and getting my mind off the news? Yes. Why not do that instead? I mean, is it painting the cutest little bunny in the world? How cute is that sucker? Oh my goodness. Yes, we can get our mind off things by, by having a little fun and changing changing our, our story for that day. Okay, so I went crazy and made like pretty much a princess vomit. Um, it's like a princess vomited on my, my Eiffel Tower. Does anybody agree? Um, <laughs> oh, thank y'all so much for y'all's comments, by the way. We always try to go through, and if I don't see them while we're live, I definitely try to answer them. Whenever you go to paint yours, for those of you that ordered, make sure you paint the bottom, okay? I just use a, a two-inch chip brush. These are one of my, my favorite brushes. For those of y'all that are in Paint Party headquarters that are watching, first off, let me know you're here. So just put PPHQ. I'd love to say hi to you. And secondly, um, know that I have something pretty cool coming your way as far as um, a new painting that you're going to be able to do for um, online or in person. So that's coming soon. I've already designed it. I designed three paintings and I, I um, picked the best one. I had Brendan help me pick the best one. And then I had my husband who I only ask his opinion on my paintings. Oh, hey, Lynn. Hey, Ruth. Hey, Cheryl. Hey, guys. Um, I only ask his opinion. Like we have a rule. Like you are not allowed to tell me your opinion about any artwork I do unless I've asked for it. And so um, I had finished three paintings and I asked his opinion and then he he had a really great tip for it. And so I added that to the painting and it made it even better. So um, sometimes when you're staring at your own artwork, you can get really, really overwhelmed. Hey, Deb. Hey, Sue Ann. Hey, Rebecca. Oh, my gosh. We have so many PPHQ ladies here. So good to see you. OK, so here's the deal. After you paint your ceramic. OK, so this one is like a. Um, a princess ombre vomits on here and um, what you can do is you can add glitter okay and remember if you want to order one just put yes I would love to order one and um, because we have you're gonna get a shipment of two of these okay give us about two to three weeks and um, I'm gonna say three weeks because of what is going on with the postal service so just because the times have been longer around Christmas for sure so I just don't want to um, over promise and under deliver. I would always rather under promise and over deliver. And then right here is um, my favorite color. This is what I use. This is the 24 karat gold. I use this to go under the turquoise. So this actually I'm in love with this. I'm going to put this in my house. I love it. I love it so much. And um, so I'm going to put a tea light in here. And then also what you can do too, besides that I have some chunky silver glitter. Oh, that matches my nails. Ah, it matches. And then I have some chunky gold glitter, so I can add that on there too. And Francine said, princess vomit and sparkly unicorn poop. <laughs> I love that. Okay, so after you have it on there, once it dries, and this is pretty dry, so I'm going to show you what happens, okay? And um, if you get the triple thick, now here is the beauty about make and take ceramics and doing ceramics 
for not only your mobile paint parties or for, you know, if you want to order this and do this at home, it's like a little fun project, um, Mother's Day project or something like that. When you use this triple thick, what it does is it makes your ceramic feel like it has been put in a kiln. So for those of y'all that don't know much about ceramic, the first thing is, is this has been fired once. So somebody actually created this out of clay this is a sculptor that created this then after he made a clay form they put it in what's called a kiln k-i-l-n kiln and then it's fired for you know like 2000 degrees or something for so long and then it becomes greenware then they turn it into bisque okay if i am saying any of this wrong please forgive me but from my art teacher days i I feel like that's what I remember. <laughs> and then from the bisque where it's, you know, it's fired and it can still break. Of course, it is ceramic. But once it's fired, usually what happens is people put a glaze on it. So um, after they do a glaze, then it, it's refired again and then it becomes out really, really shiny. Well, what we're going to do, because we do mobile paint parties, so I either travel and teach these in person with people, um, or like now, some of you are already ordering. So yes, for two of them, you'll get two in their 12 inch, plus I'm going to throw in a couple of little mini bunnies because I feel like this is just so adorable. So while I have these in stock, I'll send those out to you. And then what will happen is um, these are 12 inches, so you'll get two of them for 65 and the, the shipping's included. So whenever you put the, the triple thick on, what happens is it makes your product look like it's been glazed, okay? So I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna use a clean, clean brush and I'm just gonna swipe it on there, okay? Now the key is, is to not sit there and just keep re-rubbing it in over and over and over. Does anybody know why? What will happen if I just keep Oh man, I'm getting pink on it. Actually, it kind of looks cool. My hands are so dirty that as I hold this, I'm starting to put pink on it. <laughs> so funny. Um, oh, thank you, Francine. Yeah, it's called Greenware Before It's Fired. Then it's the best. Sorry about that. Thank you so much. Um, so then I'm just going to wipe it on here. And the reason why we don't just keep re-wiping is Tammy is right. The paint will come off. So if we just keep going up and down over and over with this triple thick, what'll happen is it'll start re-wetting the paint and it'll start smearing it all. So you want to make sure that you just get it on there and then move on. So when I do this in in-person parties, um, for example, we had some gnomes um, not too long ago that I had. And I told them, I was like, you've got it, you know, move it fast you got to put it on there and move it because again we don't want to take for example i think some of the the ladies had like red red gnome um little shorts or whatever and then they were painting i was like no paint like the face first or the hat first then do the red last so if you end up smearing some of it it's not not the end of the world it'll kind of blend a little bit but you can see how i'm just grabbing it and moving it and then i'm going to show you a little up close the difference and how it looks between the unicorn vomit one and this one that I'm gonna put in my house because I'm obsessed and all I did for this one was 24 karat gold first and then added it and um, Carmen great question would a coat of Mod Podge do the same and um, okay so I use Mod Podge and I have for a lot of stuff until recently so Mod Podge will do similar, but it doesn't do as like shiny. So this dries, even the glossy Mod Podge does not um, dry as shiny as this. So my take, just my two cents, um, is I switched now to using this when I do the ceramic make and takes because this is so, so much um, shinier. So this is me showing it to you without it not being all the way dry yet. But you can probably already see the shine on this one versus how, see the difference? And I know this is like unicorn fun over here. This would be fun for like a, um, a birthday party get together. But see how it's already really starting to get very shiny? 
and then this one is like more muted. So what will happen over the next 15 minutes is this will dry even more and it'll look like it's just been brought out of a out of a kiln. So it's really, really cool. OK, so there it is. We did a ceramic Eiffel Tower. So if you want to order your own, go ahead and put in the comments. Yes, I want to order. And then once we sell out, we will stop sharing the link. Um, but you can pay by PayPal is fine. And then we have a unicorn party, not vomit. <laughs> and we have um, we have $65 and it includes shipping. So the shipping is there and you're going to get two of these plus two of the bunnies. Um, okay. And Brandy says, and the triple thick can be rinsed under the faucet when dirty and Mod Podge will come off if wash. Um, will come off if wash. Oh yeah. Very, very true. Yeah. If you put it under the, the water. Um, definitely. Okay. So if you want to order, go ahead and put, yes, I'd like to order. And we are selling them in two packs. So you're going to get a box that's about, let me see if I can grab it and see what it's going to look like. And I would, again, I'm going to say three weeks just to make sure. So you're going to get a box similar to this. It's going to say fragile. So just be careful when you get it. And then I'm going to say three weeks um, from the time you order, okay, so that we can make sure we get everything to you um, correctly. So anyway, just put yes, I want to order. And um, let me know what you think. Let me know which one's your favorite, the unicorn vomit or my teal and turquoise, which y'all obviously know I love some teal and turquoise. Y'all know I love that. Okay, let me know. Vomit, unicorn vomit or the teal and turquoise. <laughs> All right, y'all have a great day. I'll see y'all next time.